If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month. And if you haven't noticed or figured out by now, we're going to be talking about tripods. This is my workhorse tripod. This is my Bogan 501 head on Manfrotto 3046 sticks. This is the tripod I use for everything, including shooting this episode typically. Uh, right now I've got my cheap $10 tripod sitting on three chairs because it's not tall enough, but that's what I'm using right now because I'm photographing and featuring this. So that's how I did that. Um, today I actually want to talk about tricks you can do with your tripod that aren't maybe something you may have thought of already. Although none of these tricks are new or revolutionary. Uh, they are good ones and I've used them in several of my videos and just wanted to pass that information on to you. Before I go any further though, I should defer to Jackson Peters of Film Taped, uh, who recently put out an episode, an exhaustive episode of every single tripod trick you could probably think of. And I've included a link to his video below because if you're interested in this kind of thing, you should definitely watch his video because it's really good. And like I said, covers just about every trick I've ever heard of that's on the internet. Uh, really, really good stuff. His show is really, really good too. He puts out an episode every week. So I recommend you highly, I recommend you check out his show. Uh, but the first trick I want to talk about comes from Bruss Pup. He's a guy who is a pretty active YouTube channel, uh, mostly covering science and optical illusions. But he, uh, about four years ago, he put out a trick that was just really, really good. Um, and you've probably heard of it. He basically took his tripod and he shortened one leg, turned it into a bipod, and then simulated a dolly move by lunging forward and back while tilting. Um, I've included a link to his video below and you can kind of see the uh, results that he got from playing around. And I've done this in I think three videos that you're gonna be seeing clips from here. Um, and it's just a really great effect. There's very little setup. I mean, you still have to practice to hit your move, of course. And it only really works for subtle or short dolly moves because your dolly move is only gonna be as long as your tripod legs. So. Be aware of that, but it looks really good, and uh, if most people probably aren't going to have time, or they don't have a dolly, if they don't, um, you can use that move. So it's really good. It's uh, basically the I call it a bipod dolly move, but uh, he calls it the super camera video trick or super video camera trick, something like that. So that's breast pup. I've included a link to that video again below. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is sort of this. Uh, cranking effect here and if your tripod has a crank on it, I realize not all of them do, you'll notice that when you crank it to raise the height of your camera that it simulates a crane move basically. So if you have a crank on your camera, on your uh, tripod and you put your camera on it, you can get a, a subtle crane shot by cranking this thing up or down. And that's the second thing I want to mention. I hadn't really seen that anywhere before but I know that anyone that has a tripod with a crank on it has probably uh, played with that effect or tried it because it's uh, actually looks pretty good and you might not have a crane or the means to set one up or whatever uh, limited space what have you and that will work for you um, the third effect i want to talk about is something recent um, and it's using these furniture sliders um, this comes from justin leba he's a member of the frugal filmmaker facebook group and also has his own youtube channel and he's recently got a lot of uh, people embedding his video in their blogs or whatever uh, where he took these three, he took three of these furniture sliders, only his were round. Um, I got mine at Walmart for three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents for four of these, and you put them under each tripod foot, and on a carpeted surface, you now have a, has a, you now have a slider. He calls it an easy slider, but it's basically a uh, furniture slider, a dolly. These are used if you want to move your couch, or bookcase, whatever, on an entertainment center. You put these under your uh, the bottom of your piece of furniture and then you can slide it around the carpet and I was actually kind of skeptical of how good this would look but I did it and I shot some test footage and it actually looks really good I did a shot of a dolly in a dolly out a lateral move right to left or left to right and then I did a circular tracking shot and it looked pretty good as long as I was on carpet of course um, but I was pretty impressed um, Justin has come up with something really interesting and useful I think we should all try it I mean just throw these in your gear bag or whatever and just be ready for it. And just like the, the bipod dolly thing, it doesn't take a lot of setup and it looks pretty good. Just practice, practice, practice and hit your move. And you got a pretty cool shot. I've included uh, Justin's original video below, um, as well as a video of all the movie clips that I've shown from short films that I've made using these various techniques. So check those out. Again, I want to thank Breast Pup um, and Film Taped 
and Justin, everybody who's contributed uh, indirectly to this episode. So if you have a tripod and you want to do something a little bit different with it, uh, try some of these tricks and uh, you might find them quite useful. And so that's what we've talked about today on the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month and we'll see you next time.